So you want well, to talk about your thought, Bill? Well, it really wasn't my fault. I was on a webinar with the American <laughs> Association of... Did I blank out again? No, no. we're just laughing that it's okay. not your thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm smart enough to listen to other people. So <laughs> that said, I, I was on a webinar with uh, some national lenders, and what they are seeing is an uptick in the amount of new construction and of major rehab uh, projects. They, a lot of the companies that traditionally just did the quick in and out fix and flip loans are now having to do more and more of the larger, more involved loans. And so uh, they're attributing this to the lack of inventory. They just have to go deeper in their market. Mm -hmm. So Jonathan, what are you thinking? Because you're, you're probably more in tune to all, each loan that's coming through here. You're seeing our um, uh, construction loans. Mm -hmm. You're seeing the sizes of the rehab loans that are coming in, like the sizes of the rehab part. Sure. So what would you, what would you say that you're seeing? I would like, I would like to not just say, I'd like to use actual data. So <laughs> I have it from 2019, 2020 and year to date this year. Um, so what we're seeing in our market and what we're lending is echoing exactly what the, the national guys are seeing. So the average rehab budget, and when I say rehab, that was new construction or fix and flip rehab. The average rehab budget in 2019 was 53,000. In 2020, it was 67,000. Did that have something to do with the price of the rehab costs? Well, I'll get to that too. <laughs> so you have 53,000 in 19, 67 in 2020. This year, we're at 101,000 on our average rehab budget. Wow. So that's we, huge. So we are. So then, then you go back and you look. Okay, well, what were the purchase prices on these? So in 2019, it was 86,000 was the average purchase price. In 2020, it was 104,000, mm -hmm. and then this year it's 78,000. And you think, okay, when you look at it, you're like, wow, we must be getting cheaper products or cheaper assets right now. No, we're not. We're, we're, we're buying more lots and we're buying more two ones. And and what's happening is we're having higher construction budgets mm -hmm. for the lots, mm -hmm. and we're having higher rehab budgets for the two ones because you're either doing high end finishes or you're blowing out the square footage or both. Yeah. Yeah. So our data is showing right now that this year we are, we are doing more heavy construction yeah. more heavy rehab. Yeah. And, and it has to do with the borrowers that we have now mm -hmm. as well. Um, one of the things that, um, that I'm seeing with a lot of the investor groups that I'm involved with is that people are not, rehabbing as much as they used to, to sell a property. And you know, and what you, what I attribute that to, it's really, it's so much easier the hot market. Well, it's, well, not even that. I think with the federal agencies declining on how much investor loans they're doing, you're seeing an uptick in private money coming into the investor loan space. So you have people just saying, okay, let me just sweep it out. Let me, um, you know, put in some new appliances and throw a tenant in there and I can cash out, refinance this thing. That's true. Keep the asset mm -hmm. and get some cash out. So that's one, I mean, I say that I've personally done that and I've seen a lot of other people yeah. do it. You've yeah. done that. Yeah. I'm, I'm holding on to property, but yeah. we're also able to just sweep out a property and sell it because investors, uh, crazy investors are paying more for properties than they should. So they're buying these houses that are basically swept out. Um, and back on the market. And then you've got a lot of, of um, owner occupied people that are willing to buy houses with work mm -hmm. where previously they weren't. Yeah. So, you know, you get it livable mm -hmm. and, and, and decent, and yeah. then they're taking on the, um, uh, all the work of having to upfit it to what they really want to do. So mm -hmm. I'm seeing all of this in the market. Yeah. I mean, and we all know that it's, it's localized. I mean, you know, are you able to find wholesale deals where you can sweep it out and relist it? Absolutely. Are you, is it easier to find them now? See Bill. Uh, have, have a great week guys. Thanks. Yeah. You too. I'm not just on my phone. I'm actually looking for a Facebook post yeah. that I can share. Is it easier to find those type of wholesale deals now than it was 
in 2019? No, I, I, I would I would not say so. Just because the data is reflecting that it's not, you know, right. Can you still find them? Yes, absolutely. I wouldn't say it's as easy or easier. I, I would think it would be much more difficult to find those those type of properties. I mean, but the thing is, on the retail side, demand isn't down yeah. from buyers. Yeah. However, purchases are down 